so we have to prove that um, sides are congruent. So I'm not sure if you saw the earlier video, but you only use CPCT to prove that angles are congruent and that sides are congruent. So a problem like this, you'll definitely have to use CPCTC. So I'm going uh, to uh, point out that because C is the midpoint, we only know that A or that BC and CD are congruent. We don't know that AC is congruent to uh, CE. Uh, what else do we know? We know that these two angles are congruent because they're vertical angles and they tell us that the sides are parallel. And what can we know from that information? Well, if we extend these lines, these parallel lines, and I point out that the transversal is this side right here. Um, you can extend the other sides as well, but that helps me to know that this angle here is congruent to that angle right there. So these two triangles are congruent because of angle side angle. So you want to think about how you're going to uh, complete the proof before you go uh, further than you're given the information. All right, so let's write all that down. And when you have vertical angles, a lot of times students, my students have a hard time with, um, some of them have a hard time with remembering how to use the three letters. So I just teach them to rename the angles, just call it angle one and two. So angle one is congruent to angle two. Why? Because vertical angles are congruent. And I'm going to keep the image in, uh, in view, the, the shape in view. So I'm going to extend my uh, statement of reason side over here. So number three, we want to show that uh, BC is congruent to CD. Um, and we can say something like midpoint bisect segment. Okay, and we need to show that um, my two angles here, let me rename it. Let's call this instead of, actually, I don't have to rename it since it's just a single letter. So if an angle has three letters, you can rename it with one, uh, a number. But if it's just a single letter, I'm just going to keep it as it is. So I can say that angle B is congruent to angle B. Uh, what's the reason? The reason is if lines are parallel, then alternate interior angles are congruent. All right, so now I've shown enough to show that the two triangles are congruent. So triangle ABC is congruent to triangle E, D, C. And the reason is because of angle side angle. So then now for the sixth step, I can go ahead and say that A, B uh, is congruent to E, D. Why? Because of C, P, C, T, C which means corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. And this completes the proof.